Hello guys, I hope you are all fine. Today we are here to discuss about construction and working principle of DC servo motor. So let's get into the topic. This is the construction or circuit diagram of separately excited DC servo motor. Here if you observe here, this is the block diagram. This is the pulse width modulator. This is the control signal. This is the comparator. This is the position sensor. This is the gearbox. This is the error amplifier. This is the motor. This is the load. And here let's talk about uh, those uh, parts or uh, functionalities. Here, this is the motor. Here, it is a here we use a normal DC motor with its field winding separately excited. As I told you, this is separately separately excited. Na? we will use this kind of motor here, separately excited DC motor. Whereas the load, here the load is connected to the mechanical shaft of the motor, and it could be industrial load or it may be simple fan load. Whereas the next one is gearbox. Here, if you observe here, this is the gearbox, guys. Here it converts the output of the motor in the form of position or acceleration or velocity based on application. Whereas the next one is position sensor, this is the position sensor. Here it senses the position of the rotor. Whereas the next one is comparator, this is the comparator. Here it compares the output of a position sensor and the reference point to generate the error signal. Whereas the next one is amplifier. Here it amplifies the error signal from the comparator. Whereas uh, the next one is pulse width modulator. Here it modulates the input of the motor for zero steady state error. This is all about the construction and working principle of DC servo motor. I hope you understand guys. Thank you.